up guys, Caleb here, and today we are going to be going over these six custom James Bond minifigures I made, episode 4. It has been a month or two since I picked this series up, because I've already made six custom James Bond minifigures three times already, so today is my fourth time doing it, and today I'm basically going to show you these six custom James Bond minifigs I made. And also, if you don't know, the very last one will be my favorite, so make sure to stick around to the very end to see which one of these my favorite is. Without further ado, let's dive into the six custom James Bond minifigs I made, episode 4. The first minifig I made is a Roger Moore version of James Bond, and funny enough, this is actually my second version of Roger Moore James Bond, but I actually found a better face piece, which is the Han Solo hair piece, or face piece, because it actually has some of these little wrinkles on it, and so I actually used that for the, uh, basically, Roger Moore minifig. This is my second version, but it definitely looks good. I stuck with basically the same hair piece, which is just this really cool one. That fits him pretty well, and it definitely looks a lot like the actual version of him. He's even got some leg printing with some pockets there. And he also has a different suit than the original version of the Roger Moore minifigure I made, but he definitely turned out a pretty good one. Next up, we have Hugo Drax from the movie Moonraker, which personally I did not like very much. However, I had the perfect parts to make him, so I basically made him with this really angry expression, although he does have a double-sided face. We can just flip that around, and this is a much calmer face, stick the hair back on. But he's also got this tan suit, which he was wearing in the movie, and he also has medium legs, which actually have printing on them from a Monkey Kid set, believe it or not. So this turned out really cool. I really like the printed, you know, medium legs, because the medium legs can move, too, which is always nice. And he definitely turned out a pretty good one. Love his face facial expression. Also made Bond's number one boss, M, obviously the female version of her. And I didn't really have an old woman face, so I actually used the Ray face. But it actually looks a good bit like her, especially with the hairpiece. I've been wanting to do an M ever since episode one of this. However, I just haven't really, you know, had the face piece for it. But today I kind of slapped a Ray face piece on there. And I think it does, you know, generally work has a double-sided face for a angry expression and she just basically has a belt not really any like printing but it definitely looks a lot like her and she's definitely one of the more main characters in the James Bond franchise and so I decided that I needed to make her and she definitely looks a good bit like her especially with that hair piece. We have the very first James Bond girl ever who is in Dr. No in the very first 10 minutes where he goes to the casino and meets her, and it's the very first Bond James Bond that's ever said, and so it's really kind of the most famous one. And I decided I needed to make her. She basically has this dress with, you know, her arm sticking out. Obviously, I actually couldn't find another skin-pieced arm, so she only has one, but I do think it works pretty well, and she uses one of the faces from the Lego Friends set, not the apartment set, but the Central Perk set, and she also has a hairpiece, and I wanted to get her hair a little bit darker, but I couldn't find this hairpiece in a darker brown color. She also has some leg printing, and it definitely looks a lot like her from the very first, you know, Bond James Bond ever. Really an, an iconic line, and a pretty famous, you know, James Bond girl, if you ask me. We have one of my favorite figures. It was really hard to choose between this and my favorite figure, but it is the Mexican Day of the Dead version of James Bond. This guy turned out absolutely incredible. Basically from the opening scene of Spectre James Bond, which is really my favorite opening scene out of any James Bond movie. I love the helicopter chase, so much action, and I love the Mexican Day of the Dead theme. And obviously James Bond is dressed in basically as a skeleton with the skeleton suit and a, obviously he's got like the skull mask and the top hat. Pretty much built my own version of that and I just used a normal skull piece instead of a skull mask, but I think it works pretty well. I had no clue how I was gonna get a skeleton body, but this was actually from kid version of Lloyd from Ninjago, which I was not expecting, but when I saw it, I knew I needed to use it. He's also got a little umbrella or a cane that looks pretty good, and it definitely looks so much like the actual version of the Mexican Day of the Dead James Bond, and he looks absolutely incredible. I love how this figure turned out. Favorite James Bond custom minifigure that I made in this wave, one I've been wanting to make since wave one, but I've not found the hairpiece for it, is Raul Silva. He turned out absolutely spectacular. No clue how I was going to get his hairpiece because I've been wanting to make this figure ever since, you know, episode one of this, and I couldn't find it, but the other day I was looking through my Lego box and I found this, and this is actually Lloyd's hairpiece, and it just fits him so perfectly. This is basically the Dark Knight Joker of the, you know, James Bond world. He's such a dark, evil, scary villain, especially with that scene where he's taking his teeth out and stuff. 
I decided I needed to make him. He also has a very, very nice tan suit, which I used for the Mobius custom figure, and that is also from the Friends set. He also has some brown pants, just the angry clone face, which actually, surprisingly, you know, fits him pretty well, and it looks so much like my favorite James Bond villain of all time, Raul Silva, such an evil, incredible villain, and such an incredible minifigure. I needed to make this minifigure, and I'm very, very happy how he turned out. Guys, these are the six custom James Bond minifigures I made episode four. I just keep making more and more of them. So I decided to sort of make it a series. It's been a while since I put an episode out. But let me know what your favorite of all of these minifigs are in the comments below. Mine is definitely Raul Silva, but also the Day of the Dead version of James Bond turned out incredible. But let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. Super production. Sign up for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my latest content because I have a lot of interesting stuff coming out. And I will see you guys later. Peace.